making DIY pet bandanas. Luna has hers on and Loki has his too. Let's show everybody your bandana, Loki. So we're gonna show you all how to make your own pet bandana. So what you're gonna need is a template that I will provide below in the description box. Some fabric, fabric glue, scissors, and a pen. What you're gonna do is lay your template. You can choose from large, medium, small, and extra small. Today we are going to do medium for Luna. And you're going to lay your template on the fabric and then just use your marker to trace on the outside portion. Don't trace in the center here because this is going to be um, the center of your bandana since this template template is only half of the bandana. Once you've traced all out your template, then you're just going to cut it out of the fabric. You don't have to worry about the marker showing up because we're gonna fold that and cover it up. This is gonna be really cute for her for the summertime. She has a collection of bandanas. What are you doing up here? Come on, come on. Okay, so I've cut out my bandana here. And I did get this material at Joanne's Fabrics. Sorry, that was Loki. He, he bumped the camera. Loki, you can't do that. You can't bump the camera. So actually, you might wanna keep your scraps and you can save them for a little bow. Okay, so this is the fabric glue that I'm using. I just got it from Hobby Lobby or yeah, Hobby Lobby for $4.99. So if you don't have a sewing machine or if you do have a sewing machine, you can use your sewing machine and that would turn out really nice with this. But unfortunately, my sewing machine is in Texas right now. So I have to use the glue. To glue down our edges, we're just gonna put like a small bead of glue along the edge. Fold it over about a quarter of an inch. other side. We're going to want to do it on all sides of the bandana.
I like to leave a little extra room on the sides, on the top side of the bandana template because of this folding over process. I'm not sure that the template accounted for um, creating a, a hem when they made the template. So I just go ahead and leave about a half inch on the top side at least because then it'll give you more space for the collar, which is here. So the collar slips through the bandana here. And if it's too thin on a medium or large size template, um, your collar will not fit. So you wanna make sure you give, give a little bit of extra space at the top. Now I'm going to go back and do a double hem, I guess you could say. So I'm just gonna fold the bottom parts one more time. You could always press it with an iron if you wanted to, but I'm not going to because I've made these several times now and I realized that once your doggy's wearing it, you can't even tell if it's perfect or not. If you don't want to make your own bandana, you can enter into our giveaway contest for your own free personalized dog bandana. So, okay, I folded over all of the edges here. I did once on the side, once on the top, and then two on the bottom. Now, the last part where we're gonna glue is we're gonna fold the top over to just meet edge there so we want to make sure we don't go past where it starts to go at an angle and then we're just gonna put glue again Our bandana is finished as far as the fabrication. Now I'm gonna go into my Cricut, um, Cricut Design Space, and I'm going to make a name here for Luna. And you definitely don't know how, or don't, you definitely don't have to do this, but if you wanna just stop here, that is totally fine. Um, you would wanna let your glue dry for uh, 24 hours and then it needs to cure for seven to ten days before you wash and it says do not dry clean which I don't think that needs. anybody has to worry about dry cleaning their dog bandanas but you never know so anyways that's this particular glue each glue is gonna be different so look at the instructions on the fabric glue that you use and so I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry and in the meantime I'm gonna create my Cricut design space name to put here.